I'm willing to suffer to achieve my dreams. And someone says, oh, I don't want to suffer. Well, you don't have a choice. I think I think suffering is part of life. You will suffer. You can't. You know what I mean. Suffering is inevitable. So I went on tour uh, about two or three weeks ago, and while we were on tour, we were like, we had a lot of free time in our hands uh, because uh, you know you do do you do your gigs and then you just hang out for some time before waiting for another gig to happen, the next gig to happen. So we, we I had conversations with the cats they were I was playing with, and one of the topics that came up is one of the questions someone asked was, would you rather uh, play a gig? with a killing band, let's say play a gig with Winton Marsalis, but Winton Marsalis is a complete a-hole, like he's a douchebag, he like mistreats you, like like a prop, he's a proper douchebag, and makes you feel bad about your playing, I'm not saying he's dead, hypothetically speaking, right? So he's like that, or would you rather play for a week with someone who is not good, someone who's not a good musician, someone who's not as well known, and but the difference is they're very good people they treat you nicely and you always feel good playing with those people what would you rather choose and i think that i thought the answer was pretty obvious that of, at my young age because i'm in my early 20s i've not achieved anything yet significant at my age i would definitely hang out with winton i would definitely go play with winton even though he might be hypothetically in this scenario he's, i've never met him so I'm, I'm not saying he's a douchebag i'm just giving an example right so let's say uh, he's a douchebag. I would rather spend a year with Winton than spend spend a year with someone who can't play. Because even though Winton might mistreat me or he might be a douchebag or whatnot, in that period that I'm gonna be hanging out with Winton, I'm gonna be learning so much about the music. I'm gonna be learning about the business. I'm gonna be meeting people, and I'm gonna start making a name for myself. Because when you're hanging out with Winton, let's say you're playing at the Jazz at Lincoln Center, now you can start building a brand from that idea that I'm the cat, I'm the lead out of the, the Jazz at Lincoln Center, and people already know you and you can start building a business from that. There's so many benefits to playing with someone who's got a, a, a an established name. Everybody did. Miles played with Bird, and then Train played with Miles, you know, and, and so on and so forth. Like Elvin Jones played with Train, and, and so on, and everybody played with everybody, you know. Antonio Sanchez played with Pat, but Pat Metheny played with Gary Burton, and uh, you know what I mean? And everything just goes like that, like everybody feeds off of, of you know, you need to be, I need, you want to be in a band with someone who, 
who's knowledgeable, who's well known in the scene, and who's got that. And then, and then this brings me to my point today, which is, uh, after saying that, a lot of people were like, "Nah, I read that. I read the hangout with the cats that can't play, but they're nice." I'm and then I said, "I, I'm willing to suffer, to achieve my dreams," and someone said, oh, "I don't want to suffer." Well, you don't have a choice. I think I think suffering is part of life. You will suffer. You can't. You know what I mean. Suffering is inevitable. And then I said that, and then uh, the person was like, uh, "Yeah, but I'm not gonna choose to suffer." Yes, you choose to suffer all the time. You can't get away from it. You can't get away from the pain of of life, right? I know that's the depressing one, but I don't see it as a depressing thing. It just is what it is. So. I can struggle, I can suffer now by spending time practicing, uh, sacrificing everything else in my life and, that, and, and, and devoting all my attention, all my resources into building my skills, right? Rather it be I'm a, if you're a basketball player, if you're a musician, if you're a painter, whatever it is, an actor, a doctor, whatever, you spend all these years acquiring this skill, you know? I know a lot of professional musicians, once they're older and they're professional, they're not practicing six, eight hours a day. If they get two hours, they're very happy. But they can still play and smoke everybody because they spent those hours building the the necessary skills. They built the skills to be able to uh, to play, to play at that level. And now what they need to do is maintain, like building a physique, like bodybuilding. Bodybuilders they work out for ten plus years to build a physique, and then after that they're just cruising. You just eat at maintenance. You maintain a simple workout that maintains the muscle mass. It's so easy to maintain than it is to build. So I would rather suffer today when I'm young and then be able to quote unquote enjoy or not suffer later on. Because if you choose, the only thing you're doing by not suffering today is you're choosing to delay your suffering. You will suffer eventually. Now, there are things that are outside of your control, like relatives might die and then bad things happen in life. You know what I mean? Those things are outside of your control, but there's things in your control, like a clear example of being a musician. If you don't spend enough time practicing, you don't have a competitive advantage, which means you probably won't get as booked as someone who's really good at playing, right? Just just to be honest, if I'm killing, you know, if I'm Baptiste Herbin, Everybody wants to play with me because I'm killing. Everybody wants me to play their band. People want me to play, uh, to go record, uh, to play their rec in their records. Uh, they want, and then people want to listen to me, and then people want to take lessons from me. There's so many different streams of income. There's so many things to do now, but the only way you get to Baptist Herbens, there's an interview where he said he practiced nine hours a day. The only way you get to Baptist Herbens level is you gotta shed. And you gotta spend that time making those sacrifices and quote unquote suffering so that you can get to a point where now you don't need to suffer in order to sustain yourself and to have a good life. But if you don't spend those years that you have that, that you're young and then you have nothing to lose, you 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 you're young, you got nothing. If you don't spend those years quote unquote suffering, then you're gonna suffer later because then you're not gonna be able to do gigs. People are gonna be playing better than you. I don't understand where this whole this whole idea of having a comfortable life's not supposed to be comfortable. It's not supposed to be suffering all the time, but it it's not supposed to be an easy. It's not supposed to be you know just 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 cruising. You gotta you gotta you gotta spend some time on something and completely invest in it. And and, and it's gonna take time. It's gonna be it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be painful. And it's gonna be discouraging. And it's gonna be bore. It's boring at a, at a certain time, and you don't want to do it. I don't want to practice today. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I can't do this. I, I don't sound like that person. I'm learning this new material. I can't play like that. I can't do this. I, there's all those the things, the negative thoughts, and all those things that, that go into being able to achieve anything of significance. And then you listen to the way these people play, and you can clearly tell they don't like to suffer because they don't play as good as they should play. You know what I mean? If you didn't play, you're like, yeah, of course you don't like to suffer. You gotta, it's just inevitable. You you suffer one way or the other. You suffer by spending the time practicing or spending the years traveling with maybe someone who's not a good person, who's a douchebag or whatnot. So you can get to a point where now you're you're able to set an example. You're able to, to, to do the traveling on your own. You're able to book your own bands. You're able to do all those things. 
you know, but maybe you had to go through a, a teacher who's who's just not a good teacher, who's not encouraging, who's who, who's who's a douchebag. Maybe you have to go to a big band. You know, the guys that play. Apparently, Buddy Rich was also a douchebag. Maybe you have to go to that process. You know what I mean? But maybe, but if Buddy Rich calls me to play in his band, I don't care how big of a douchebag he is. I'm gonna play in his band because that's Buddy Rich, and that's that's part of my resume. If I have Buddy Rich in my resume, that means I get better jobs. That doesn't mean I get better jobs, but you get what I'm saying. It it, it just it 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 it. it it, it gives me more value in the marketplace, right? It doesn't mean I'm less, if you don't play Buddy Rich, it doesn't mean you're less valuable, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, if you have that in your resume, it just makes you more valuable. So you must be willing to suffer. You must be willing to, to, to hang out with cats or not, to, to play with bands that are not so nice people, to play with bands to, of douchebags. Maybe, I'm not saying that that's a prerequisite. All I'm saying is you must be willing to go through that suffering. If it means that you're gonna, there's gonna, uh, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna yield better results for the future. You get what I'm saying, especially if you're young.